Hey everybody and welcome back to another tutorial in Revit. Today we're going to be looking at a bunch of different ways to create some really awesome customizations to our facade using the curtain wall hack which we looked at in the previous video. The link to that is in the description below. Um, we're going to be looking at different ways to create different shapes, sizes, patterns, openings, materials and the rest of it. If you have any questions leave those below, hit the like button and if you do want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get notified otherwise let's get right into it. So if we just come over to our list, the first thing we're going to look at is customizing louver properties. So for example creating an angle or changing the shape or size of our louvers. Second we're going to look at creating infill panel types so with that customized louver that we've created in the first step or creating a vertical louver panel. Then we're going to look at how to actually apply those panels and replace the infill panels. And lastly, we're going to look at creating openings in the screen. So by editing profile or by replacing our panels with an empty system panel. And also how we can sort of delete mullions to clean some of those up. So let's get started. The first step, we're going to look at customizing Louver properties. So we'll come over to our project browser on the left and expand families. And we want to be in the curtain wall mullions, rectangular mullion section and we're going to just use this uh, louver and right click and duplicate and just hit enter we're not going to rename it just yet because we don't know what we're modifying it to we double click to open the type properties now we can see a bunch of the modifications that we can make so I'm going to firstly set the angle of this to 30 degrees uh, we'll leave the offset profile we could change the shape or the profile here but we'll leave that as rectangular I'm going to change the thickness to, let's say, 150 mil thick. Material, we can hit the three dots and change the material to aluminium. OK. And the dimensions, we can change the thickness as well of this, of the louver. So currently it's 10 mil, um, but we'll change this, make, thicken it up a little bit and make it perhaps a 40 mil. So 20 mil width on either side, 20 plus 20 equals 40. And before we hit OK, we just want to rename this. So a pretty lengthy description, but that's OK. It's going to be clear when we select that. And we just want to hit OK. Next, we want to create the infill panel types, so the new curtain wall types. Uh, one with the customized louver, and then another with the vertical louvers. So to do that, we're just going to go into a 3D view and zoom in here and just hover over those panels and we might need to hit tab like that so we can select that infill click and you'll see what happens when we hit edit type we can't actually duplicate this and a little workaround I like to apply for that is just while well, it's still selected you can just hit create similar or CS keyboard shortcut and you can now click edit type and we can duplicate this so we'll call this uh, horizontal angle louver and fill. That should be enough there. Hit OK. And the only thing we want to change in here is the horizontal mullions. We can change this from this type to our custom louver on a 30 degree angle, like so. We could also change uh, other parameters in here, like the spacing, for example. So let's say we'll just change that to 100 mil. We'll space them out a little bit more, given that this profile is a little bit bigger. And we can hit OK. And now we're not actually going to apply that just yet. We're going to create another panel type using a vertical louver. So we're going to go back in here. And I'm just going to click the horizontal louver infill. And edit this type again and duplicate. And let's rename this to vertical louver infill. And we just want to change firstly the vertical grid to maximum spacing and we'll make that now 80 mil and we'll change the horizontal grid to none and I'm just going to copy this out of the horizontal mullions because we don't have any of those anymore and we can paste it in here like so note we could apply any mullion here we could also apply our angled mullion but we're happy with that and we can click OK so now we have all our infill panel types created and we just want to apply those and how do we do that it's pretty simple we just uh, zoom into our curtain wall and we can just tab to select the infill panel like so 
And I'm just going to pick a few of these at random. So holding down control, just select that. Tab, hold down control. Tab to select, hold down control and click. And it's probably bad enough. Maybe we can orbit around and pick this one here as well. Hold down control and click. So we want to change these. We can see it's grayed out. And the reason for that is that these are all pinned. So we can just come up here and click unpin and it gives us the option now to click in here and we can change the panel type. So I'm gonna firstly change these to all the angled mover and fills. Click there and just click out. And we can see there, we've got now our aluminum louver type. It's a bit thicker, a bit longer and on a 30 degree angle. That looks fine. And now let's apply some of the vertical louvers to some of these. So same thing again, just hover over and click, hover over hold down control and click, tab, hold down control and click, hold down control and click, and the same thing again, unpin, change the type to our vertical louver and fill. And we can just delete grid lines here, that's fine, and just click out, and we can see now we also have our vertical louvers in there uh, using the same louver type as our horizontal but in a vertical pattern. Next we're going to have a look at uh, creating some openings in the screen. So first we're going to look at editing the profile. So to do that we just select the curtain wall, so the entire curtain wall, the frame itself, and we can click edit profile. And you can do this in an elevation or a 3D view. I'm just going to do it in a 3D view. So let's say rectangle and create something like that there. And let's create a circle opening of some sort like that there. And hit the green tick. And we can see that that pretty cleanly uh, modifies our curtain wall uh, panels around that opening. And same here for the rectangle. Next, we're going to look at how to actually create an opening between one of these panels. So let's say, for example, there was a door behind this panel here. Um, we could select it, unpin, and then replace this horizontal louver and fill with an empty system panel like that. Um, and then, of course, we probably want to get rid of this mullion here. So we can pick that, unpin again, and just hit delete on the keyboard. So it's creating a nice clean opening that's within the grid of that frame curtain wall. And let's take a look at this in perspective to see what that's looking like. That's looking pretty good. We created pretty quickly a custom profile. We created three different infill panel types and a bunch of different openings that all seem pretty clean and clear. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys found that useful. Hit that like button if you did. If you want to get in touch or you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, please leave those below. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get notified for future videos. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video.